Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Song for Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today I have a question from Katie, so I'll read you what she said. Dear Cyber Sue, why do I keep meeting guys who cheat on me? I am a 25-year-old woman who is having a difficult time trying to meet a sincere and loving boyfriend who wants to be with me in a committed relationship. I don't have a problem meeting men, but I do have a problem with them stepping out of our relationship and cheating with other women. My friends say I'm always attracting the same type of non-committal men due to my easygoing and forgiving nature. They also think that I sleep with them way too quickly. It's starting to take a big toll on my self-esteem. They always end up sleeping with other women while we're together and I know this to be true because I've heard my exes on the phone with them and I've seen a lot of texts. I am intimate in my relationships, so why am I not enough for them? Thank you for any advice you can give me, Katie. You mentioned that you don't have a problem meeting men. And while this can seem like a really good thing, sometimes if it's too easy and you are repeating pattern after pattern, it's not a good thing. Sometimes you have to step back and say to yourself, why am I attracting the same type that keep bringing me heartache? What am I doing here? Because I'm the one that is bringing them to me. So what am I attracted to that is so repetitive? What is it about these guys? A lot of people don't really know that they're commitment phobic or they're hanging on to some pain from maybe a past breakup they had and they don't realize that this is the issue. So they keep attracting people who are emotionally unavailable because they kind of are too. If you're still dealing with heartbreak from another really intense relationship, it's hard to move forward until you deal with that pain. And so that could be one of the things. It also could just be that you are really easily attracted to people that are non-committal because it's fun. It's a little bit of a game. It's a little bit of a chase. You sort of get addicted to that behavior a little bit. Maybe these people you're dating think that you're in a casual situation with them like they are with you. And maybe you don't see them a lot in the beginning because they're dating other people. So maybe you're thinking you're in more of a committed relationship than you really are. So that's another thing to pay attention to. So you have to be really careful and make sure that they're in there for the right reason. They're not just trying to bring you in for a casual situation. You are the one that wants them there. So you have to sit back and say to yourself, what is it about them? Maybe if I didn't sleep with them too quickly, I wouldn't be as drawn towards them. Maybe then I could see who they really were. Or maybe I could find out if they were just into a casual situation or a one night stand or maybe just a sexual partnership at that particular time. Whatever the scenario is, if they're all turning out to be the same person, then there is something you're doing as well that is bringing that to you. So it is time to sit back and maybe get some counseling about what it is that's causing you to keep bringing to people towards you that aren't available. Because that's what's happening here. Right now, you're just moving from one to the next to the next. And as your friend said, they're all similar. So if you stand back and look inward, you will say to yourself, okay, you know what? I see what they're doing here. When you decide to go back and date again, especially if you're dating online, Get one of your friends to come over and give you some guidance about what to look for. Maybe if you show them people that you're looking at, they can offer suggestions to you and say, well, that's sort of what the last guy was like, or no, that's a good choice. Read their bio. They've got some interesting things in there of maybe something that you had never dated with that person before. It's always good to change up who you date. It's always good to change up what you're looking for because maybe you're not choosing people that are compatible with you long term. Maybe you're actually sabotaging it a little bit because you know that you're not ready for a commitment or you're afraid of a commitment. A lot of fear goes into relationships. 
especially when you're not sure about what you're looking for. So when you take time to analyze what's happening, you will have a much clearer picture of what you want going forward. You'll also be able to see those other guys faster because now you know what you don't want and you say to yourself, okay, well, it's not working for me. So why do I keep banging my head against the same wall? It's not working. So taking time away from dating is the best thing you can do because you will start to see what your friends see. And that's a really good thing because your friends have your back. They're not saying things to be mean to you. So I am glad you're listening to them to some degree. You always have to listen to your heart as well, not just the loins, not just the sexual chemistry and all that stuff. You have to have the whole picture if you want to be in a long-term reciprocated commitment. You're not alone, Katie, when it comes to falling hard and fast for someone because a lot of people are sleeping together quite quickly. They want to know if there's that connection in the bedroom, and which is fine, but the, the problem can happen is that you become emotionally drawn to them as well as physically drawn to them. And then you don't see things as much as you should because you've already fallen for them. So now when they start to do things that are a little bit out of character, which happens after a few months of being together, you're willing to forget, you're willing to forgive. And that's another thing your friends had talked about. So if you take time away from being intimate with them, I think you will also have a clearer picture before you decide to do that. Then you'll know a little bit more about who they are because you've taken the time to get to know them, not just sleep with them. And a lot of people make them this mistake. It's very, very common. And they feel that they have to or they will lose the guy. Well. I think in your case right now, that's probably an okay thing if you do lose the guy because they don't want to be just with one person anyway. So moving forward, please take your time getting to know someone. Don't jump quickly into believing every little thing. Take time apart from dating and get to know who you are too because I think you're a little bit confused right now about what it is that you're attracted to and what you think you want in your life. I also think that there are some red flags that these men are showing you early on because if they're all really similar guys and have similar behaviors, there will be red flags. But sometimes we subconsciously submerge those because we don't want to have to sort of take ownership of that. We want, we sort of sabotage our happiness by repeating this sort of pattern. And that's another thing that a lot of people do without even realizing they're doing it. And then when that happens, that's what causes so much pain because you say, here I go again. What am I doing? Why do I keep meeting the same people? It's because you're allowing the same behavior. Sit back and just watch what's going on. If you see any patterns happening again, please remove yourself from the situation. Be strong and walk away. You know you deserve more than that. Thank you so much for writing, Katie. I really appreciate hearing from you. Please let me know what happens. And anybody else tuning in today, thank you so much for being here. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.